Hey, good morning. I am back, back with a coffee talk. I've got my coffee, more Keurig. I'm gonna have to make some good coffee here in the next coffee talk or two. You know, this one almost didn't happen because I got a little bit irritated on the forum. We'll get into that later. But I was gone last week out to Portland. Highly recommend Portland, it's a great town. Good beer, a lot of good beer. Went out to the Global Game Jam where you get together on a weekend and essentially make a game. So that was pretty cool. Ours is, uh, <clears throat> our game is uh, not done, <laughs> but it was a good experience. I enjoyed the development side of it. All right, today on Coffee Talk, I've got a couple things to talk about. We'll go through the specials, which is actually connected to my main effort for today. We are going to talk about the forum and my little forum ban that I just got, so that will be an interesting discussion. And then we'll get into, that will segue nicely anyway, into Wargaming chicanery. So, I'm sure you're surprised that there was some chicanery going on. But <laughs> we'll look at that. Let's get started. Alright, usually we do these specials first, but we'll get into that second because it's actually related to what I'm going to talk about. We'll jump into the missions and see what is going on with the missions. Looks like the AX is on track. Not a bad line, the AX. Going over to the missions tab, you got the standard ace tanker stuff happening right there. Dive down to tank rewards, which is just about over. So February 8th, that gives you three days, or four if you count today, if you haven't done your missions for today. And those are the tier eight, what, tier, uh, here it is, four to six, seven and eight, nine and 10, give you three points total. You can get up to 55 points. You can see that I'm pretty low. Haven't really been playing a whole bunch lately. Last weekend kind of slowed me down. Yesterday was the first day I actually sat down and did quite a bit of playing. Was even able to do the Bonds missions, which are down here at the bottom. You can see right here, base experience of 13,000. I'm up to seven for today. And then top 10 by the following parameter, which you have to click on, experience earned. So you can get 150 for this one, which is pretty good, and 100 for this one. Apparently the pool is still around that we all built up. However, I have not been able to find a counter. I went back onto the announcement that was on the main webpage, which had the initial count for how many we had, but it's not dynamic, does not seem to be counting down. And if there's a countdown somewhere, I can't find it. If somebody knows where that is, go ahead and post that in the, in the comments down below on this video and help us out. I didn't look too hard, but it wasn't in the obvious places standard for Wargaming. But I managed that one yesterday and uh, got up. You can see I got 2,500 bonds total ever. So not really hunting the bonds. That's a whole other subject. And then down here, there's a couple one-off missions, which will get you some reserves going on. This one will stop in 21 hours. So a couple of those things still going on. This says it goes through 29 January. Interesting. 22 to 29, but it's still going. That must have been an estimate. Or maybe that was the initial bonds. That might have been the initial bonds gathering part of the mission right there. And now they're just being doled out until they go away. So we got that going on. All right, moving over to the specials. You can see that I've got these specials called up. You can see the 50T is the last chance. <laughs> that is going to figure heavily into the reason I was forum banned. We'll get into that in just a minute. KV-122 War Chest. Several versions of the KV-122. Down here, the Even 90 is out, which is a French Tier 8 premium light tank. Remember, they've got the 1357, which is a Tier 7. They don't have a Tier 8. Now they do. So they actually have two premium light tanks, which is interesting, at least at higher tiers kind of thing. And some various other stuff going on. So that is all the specials of note. So the 50T, let's get into that. Okay, so getting a forum ban in World Tanks on the official forums. I'll have comments on the official forums in just a minute, but let's talk about what happened here. So I come back from my trip and I take a look at the news and I find out that the 50T is being sold. Fine, good good deal, and it's on discount, all right, good. But then I notice this last chance comment right here, so you can see it says last chance. And if you go over to their news page on it, 
It says, feel like you've seen the 50T before? That's because it's back on sale for Groundhog Day, but there's a catch. There's a catch, guys. When update 9.22 is released, the 50T will be retired. Huh. So this is your last chance to purchase the Tier 8 Heavy Tank. And then some other stuff about it. The last chance, right? The hard sell. We're removing a tank. It'll never come back. Where have we heard this before? Why do they have to say it that way? Why can't they just say, hey, we're removing it. We don't know if it'll be back. Because clearly, clearly the track record is nearly every tank is going to come back. Minus a couple really small odd ones other than the Type 59. And even the Type 59 came back once after they removed it. That's how long I've been around. So, speaking of the forum, I see all this and I think, you know what? I kind of had it with this. So I typed this in. Now, to be fair, when I typed this in, I realized that I probably was going to get a warning point. I hoped I wouldn't, but I kind of knew I probably would. So when you trumpet that something like the 50T is the last chance, not one person believes you now. It's so bleeding idiotic at this point, why do you even say it? That's my point earlier. You've brought so many things back that you supposedly promised would never be found again. What is the reason, reason for saying things like that? Rhetorical question, obviously. The reason is the hard sell. If you have new players and they haven't seen this act before, this is a movie we've all seen multiple times, then you might actually be incentivized to buy it thinking it's the last chance. Now, it's possible that they won't bring the 50T back. But there's nothing in their history that indicates that's true. So I say those are rhetorical questions, by the way, as I just mentioned, in case it went over your thick nuggets. Now this is where, obviously, I'm going off the rails. I get it, business model, make some cash, I applaud that. But how about this, which is what I was just talking about. How about you just say, we're removing it for an undetermined time, and if you want one between now and then, we off be between now and when, we offer it again, Now's the time. How about a little honesty, Wargaming? How about just a little bit of respect for your customers? Just that much. That much. My God, that would be novel, eh? Just a speck of honesty. Act like the people you are, who are your customers deserve a modicum of respect. And I go on. It really is easy to both make some money and not be jack wagons. <laughs> so that probably also helped me get my uh, warning point. Seriously, it's simple. Does even one person on your monetization team have even one clue about image and customer relations? All right. So have we all seen worse than that on the forum? Absolutely. Have a lot of those kind of things also got warning points? I don't know. I assume so. Some people have been permanently banned. People have said they got warning points for certain things. But that is not the point. I'm not here crying about the warning point or the, the temporary forum ban. But it it has caused me to, to not participate on the forum anymore. That's my wah wah moment, right? So, But that's a personal decision uh, on my part, just based on the capricious and relatively random mods, moderation on that forum. So there are people who get away with things over and over and over again. Non-constructive posts, insults, all that kind of stuff. And they're still around. Still, that's a wah-wah thing, whatever. They can, they can moderate their forum however they want. I can also choose not to participate on their forum, even though I have done my level best to be an additive factor on there and help people out. But I'm out as far as that goes. Uh, so again, wah-wah, they don't care. More than likely. The deeper point is this ridiculous hard sell monetization scheme of, I don't know where they get this stuff. You know, thinking that they can just keep saying, oh, last chance. You know, you know that furniture store down the road, which is forever going out of sale and not one person believes it. And if you were looking for some nice furniture, you wouldn't even go there anyway. It's just kind of a running joke. That's what this is essentially. Just the running joke. Yeah, sure, you're going out of business. Yeah, sure, uh, Warren Gaming, it's the last time you can get the 40T. <laughs> Come on, guys. I mean, it's, I don't, 
it's railing against the heavens and the gods because it's just not going to change. They simply are not going to change. And it's probably something that works well for most games as far as a monetization scheme goes. That doesn't mean I have to like it or anybody else has to like it. So I thought that was, well, self-serving. It was interesting to me. Hopefully it was also interesting to you. The other part about it is that it wasn't locked. I must have hit a nerve. I must have hit a pretty good nerve. And probably one of their monetization guys saw it. Uh, or one of their, one of their, I don't know, maybe just a plain old mod saw it. I can't say that. I don't know. But they, they deleted the thread. It went down the memory hole. The good news is that since I clicked follow, I, was, I have all of the, the thread and the responses. And now my dog is attempting to climb into the computer case. <laughs> anyway, I have copies of, of all of it. I was going to splash it all over, but whatever. It's not like it's freaking Watergate or anything. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that they deleted it instead of putting it into the locked thread right down the memory hole. This dog is going crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the forum, which is what I said we'd also discuss here for a moment. And I'll just kind of bring it up here so everyone can see it. The good old North American forum. And I'm going to let you look at it here. And let's see what kind of threads we have. Hey, good, there's a positive thread, that's good. Uh, why you should hate high tier gameplay. Let's see, hey, Effing map, take it out. Okay, that's good. That's useful. That, that's helpful. The the payment wall, the payment wall. That's probably a, a useful. Uh, okay, yeah, a payment wall. Hey, if wargaming stops you, then it's no fair and you can't pay. Okay, that's a that's a good thread, guys. Yeah, keep that one around. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the nine hundred thousandth skill matchmaker thread. That's that's a good one. That's good. Oh, there's aimbots. They got to go. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Tickets for unsportsmanlike conduct. Okay. Well, that's maybe decent. Um, fix the aiming over the hill bug. All right. That's all right. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, did they lower credit earning again? Yeah, the stealth. The, okay, so you see where I'm going with this, right? I mean, come on. This is, this is a cesspool. So... <clears throat> The other thing about the forum that I find fascinating, endlessly, is that Wargaming employees will roll over to Reddit and engage every day on multiple threads. They are nowhere to be seen on the official forums. It's crickets. Every now and again on things like some of these help threads or news threads, some things will come out. This is supposed to be news and information right here, right? What do we got? Uh, let's see. Huh. Well, started. Started. The last time they put news and information out was January 18th. And then, uh, at least as far as a top thread that anyone's paying attention, November 30th. There's another January 16th. November 29th. November, December. November, November. You get my point? All right, now the last thing on chicanery, the last thing on chicanery, and this was talking to a friend of mine. This is the old friend of mine. I don't have any data on it. Where I do have the forum posts, and I do understand why they said I broke the rules. I don't really understand what they do as far as their moderation goes because it's completely random and capricious. However, this one is the old friend thing, but I found it fascinating because we've been talking about, or I've been thinking about, especially those last two weeks, with the forum warning point and the, the temporary ban and the way the Wargaming employees will roll over to Reddit all day long, but they won't be anywhere on the official forums. And we're just talking about, you know, customer service, monetization, how, how Wargaming runs the, uh, the show here. I found this one very interesting because, so the guy was on, I think Red Shower, he was over by the big rock on the, I think it's on the east side over there. And he's getting up to the corner first, and he's doing a little side scraping and trying to fight. And a tank comes up behind him and pushes him right out into front of everybody. Of course, he does what he's not supposed to do. He turns and starts to, to shoot the guy, and they get into it. And they're Jack John on the on the comms and the whole nine yards. And the guy's telling him he's going to get him banned and report him. And my bud says, 
go ahead, you'll get banned too because you know you came in pushed me out first and we both did what we're not supposed to be doing, so go for it. <laughs> no word of a lie. I, I, I say no word of a lie. He told me this. I have no reason to think that he is full. He's not given to hyperbole. He's not given to making stuff up. He's a good player. Uh, he understands the whole thing. He doesn't have a tinfoil hat on, all that kind of thing. But what he told me is 10 Minutes later, he was banned. Think about that. So this guy, either either one of several things happening. The most unlikely to me is the guy sent in a report and it was answered in 10 minutes. That seems highly unlikely to me. Possible, I will say, but not very probable. The other thing is this guy was a Wargaming employee or a new one pretty co closely. Uh, more than likely a Wargaming employee playing and was able to get him banned in literally 10 minutes. That's all uh, gossip, hearsay. I can't prove a single word of it, but I found it interesting that that conversation came up. I didn't even talk about the forum thing or anything I was gonna talk about today with him. This, this is what he told me yesterday. Uh, that would be Saturday. We were just discussing different things. He goes, hey man, guess what happened to me? So. <laughs> Like I said, could be BS, but I have no reason to disbelieve him. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this week. Obviously, pretty negative. Not really a lot of help for people who are coming here looking for help. <laughs> Self-serving whining overall. Bottom line is, still a great game. Compelling game mechanics. Good people play the game. Lots of good people. Some not so good people. Whatever, you get that in every online game. I still enjoy the game, but and if you've been following the tactic talks and my coffee talks, it's kind of a recurring thing theme. Every once in a while, more than every once in a while, probably every other week, it's just another weird thing that the company does from a customer service and customer satisfaction. And the big term is customer experience these days. My customer experience with this company just continues to go down and down. They, they, they built a lot of goodwill over Christmas. I thought they did a great job with that whole thing. And it's easy to say you gave me free stuff so I feel good about it. But I also liked how it all flowed and the way it worked. And there was there didn't seem to be any real chicanery or goofiness going on with it. That was all well and good. I liked it. But every time there's a step forward, I feel like they take a step or two back. And... I try not to get on hype trains, things like, hey, they're cashing out or the game's going down. They're trying to get as much money as they can. But I really can't help but feel like that is exactly, exactly what they're doing. We'll talk about it probably next week, but there are some things on the horizon for the NA server that are making it look like they're pulling back out of there and trying to you know, minimize any costs with it. This is something that you do when your company or your business starts to decrease in certain uh, areas, there's no reason to keep throwing good money after bad if it's not working out for them. My dogs come back. But it really looks like maybe that's the start of what we're seeing right here. All right, guys. Thanks for coming by to Coffee Talk. I'm just about done with my coffee. I'm going to play a couple more games and try to get a few more bonds. Maybe even one day I'll actually get one of these uh, improved equipments. Plus, my dog is irritating the ever-loving something out of me. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later.